finally, local TV has come back well and truly to the fine city. But it's not here. Nope, not here either. No, it's here in Prospect House at the top of Ruin Road, home of the EDP, Evening News, and of course, Mustard TV. And as it's our birthday, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. When you walk into Archant Towers, you're welcomed by the very friendly reception staff. Hello, Andrew. Dan, what have I told you? Move the car. Jokes on him. I'm not moving it. Anyway, when you come in as a guest on the Mustard Show, you go down those stairs, but we're going behind the scenes. So, let's meet the team. And the first room we come into is an edit suite. So lots of computers, not a lot happening here, but plenty of people. Jordan's here, the lovely Zoe's here, editing things for the Mustard Show for sport, and actually the news as well. And hey, news Rob Setchell, hello mate. Hi, nice to see you. Any big scoops for the birthday? Yeah, yeah really big day. Um, breakers, or, sorry, bear with me, hang on a second. Hey, hello, News Factory, Rob speaking. It's up a tree. Yeah, in Helston. Yep, yeah, sorry, just um, sensitive. Okay. Um, um, so you see, breaking news all the time, the Mustard team are always on the case, but that's just robbing the news. It's a kitten, is it? It's Fantastic. Meet uh, the rest of the team, though, for the Mustard yeah. Show. And here is your Mustard Show team, all brimming with excitement for the birthday show later on. Now, we're a very organised bunch here. We have our commercial board, we have our VT board, we're out and about our fine county, and, of course, guest booking who's going to be on the Mustard Show. And next to us yeah. is a commercial team, so, of course, yeah. if you want to be financially involved in the channel, oh. you're more than welcome. Mm. In fact, it's Tom now, Tom. I that thing we're talking about, any news? Yeah. yeah, really good news, actually. I've just gotten off the phone with a local shop in the Norwich Lanes. Yeah. They reckon they can get your shirts, wait for it, even tighter in 2017. Get in. Boom. Boom. Blow it up. Win. And also on this floor as well, the wider Mustard News team. We've got Amy, Mark and Neil all hard at work. And oh, a couple of awards just stumble across here. So Primeval finalist, Innovation of the Year, two years running. Thanks so much. Team of the Year as well. All very uh, prestigious awards. Dan, did you... Uh... See this, this is a, I was a finalist at the Archant Awards. Didn't win, nice meal though. Thanks Neil. You mentioned the Archant Awards here, and you might be thinking, well they're the Archant Awards, they're your own awards, of course you're going to win. Well I don't justify that with an answer. And finally in the mustard quarter is this glass think tank. Blue sky thinking is what we're all about here, because this is where series producer Kate Winkup sits. And I'm sure there's big plans for 2016, Kate. Wait. So, 2016, obviously we're in a, you know, the end of the third quarter now, so there uh, must be lots of things going on. Bigger, more location stuff maybe, a bigger studio perhaps? Um, something about the Holt Festival. Great. <sighs> Smashed it. Thank goodness. Get out. So the mustard desks are just over there, but actually we have the wider Archant family right behind us here. We have things like distribution, production, investigation, and of course editorial, where some people you'll see on the Mustard Show and wider programmes work right here. You can see Michael Bailey there typing words about footballs and bats. Ian Clark, head of news, that's what he calls himself anyway, going through the paper with a fine tooth comb. There goes one of the pages. So that's most of the behind the scenes team, but let me show you where you go as Mustard Show guests. You can take the steps, because we are located down in the basement, but we also have a lovely lift system here. So, I'll see you downstairs. Now it all happens down here in the basement, because that's where our Mustard Studios are held. So, in fact, down this corridor used to be all the printing press was for Archon and DDP. Interesting story. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, you see, here's where the studio and gallery is. Something's going on at the moment on air, but nobody goes into our studio without going through the full hair and makeup treatment thanks to media makeup at City College. Let's see who's in there now. More hairspray, a little bit more around the back. You sure that's enough? What show are you on? I'm not even on today. I've got a hot date tonight, so come on. More on that. Yeah, lovely job. That's enough hairspray, thank you. Right, so once you've been pruned to perfection by the makeup girls, you come into here, our holding bay, if you like, our waiting room, our green room. 
teas and coffees galore. No biscuits, not made of money. And here is where the studio is. But actually, if we're going behind the scenes, let me show you into our gallery where our chief engineer, Ian Rudd, may well be. Ian, how does this Hi. all work? Well, I'm actually at the moment, Dan, just changing our lovely green screen to one of our wonderful studios you see at home. Oh, and, uh, of course, you know, people will ask me, why is it always green? Well, you know, as you know, Digital cameras nowadays see green much more sensitive um, than any other camera. That's great, Ian. So whilst great Ian's obviously working all of that out, let me show you where the magic happens in this studio. would do mimicking the human eye, really. And this is where it all happens. In our multi-purpose green screen studio, we have our auto cue camera there, a monitor so we see what's going on, and robotic camera two and camera three as well. Every Mustard Show programme is recorded in here, from the news to the sports and, of course, music and our lovely Mustard Show. That was your behind-the-scenes look at Mustard TV.